He's uh, got a career spanning more than 20 years. Look at him. He don't look old enough. Really? No. We're trying to track this down. So you started comedy early 90s, you said? Yeah, yeah, 91. I started... Well, I started professionally in 91. I, I did open spots before that. My voice is going, by the way. You're affecting a very deep, husky, sexy look if for I, the Christmas I, season. If I told... If I whisper... <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's getting more entertaining. When you've got lovely hair like this, you just got to experiment with it. You've got to play. <laughs> you just got to have fun with it. Yeah. You know. By shaving it off. So I shaved it off. It was an it was an experiment. It was actually quite interesting because um, your voice is getting more entertaining, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've got to use everything in your locker. Sounds like you've been breathing with those helium balloons <laughs> or something. <laughs> Yesterday it was fine, and then I come in this morning to do this do this show. If I speak slowly and deeply in a calm way. Oh. I'm fine. But as yeah. soon as I try and put any emphasis, <laughs> it comes in. Joe Pasquale. But I, I had it like, um, I just did it as an experiment. I thought I'd see what I looked like. And uh, people didn't want any selfies. That was, that was quite an interesting part of it. Oh. So it kind of worked from that perspective. Well, they didn't, they just, my own family didn't recognise me. I'd come down for breakfast, they'd all start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, it's not, no. This is funny. Man. You know, if you... If you <laughs> So hard in pain, is, it's slightly mean. There is this some this could be like my normal voice. But <laughs> I could sue you for uh, the discrimination against people with ridiculous voices. <laughs> I represent the community of people with ridiculous voices. Um, when, you, when you talk about uh, comedy like a subject, it just sounds really boring. If you say, Oh, I've got some material about sandwiches, yeah. and people go, oh, That sounds boring, but it might be a really good joke about sandwiches. I don't have any material about sandwiches, so I'd rather just mention that I've got a DVD. <laughs> And talk about anything else that's going on. No, it came back. Your then. namesake's laughing at you over there as well. Yeah, Sean yeah. on the desk is enjoying oh. this thoroughly. He, he was departing with Stormzy last night. He's yeah. the one who should have a bad. He's voice. got a grumpy voice. I mean, you, um, you, you've often said that your comedy is kind of like rehearsed moaning. We do love a moan, we Brits, don't we? Mm. And I think when we moan, people say stop moaning. But sometimes there's something rather joyous about a happy moan, isn't it? Yes. There? Well, I, I, I think. I think, you know, when I say when I say it's rehearsed moaning is that a lot of comedy seems to be, well, my particular is we ranting about things, and a lot of comedy is that. Have but, you always uh, been a ranter? Yeah, I suppose when I get going, when I've got a voice. <laughs> you know, is that what you've lost These it? days I'll just give sort of ranty looks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, quite, quite, a lot of, quite a lot to moan about. It's like, you know, when people are moaning about the papers, there'll be stuff about the weather or something like that. People have a sort of moan about it like it's a surprise. Mm. You know, um, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have a moan about anything. I so mean, I something you that, can't uh, moan about, surely, is the forthcoming royal wedding. Are you yeah, getting a bunting out? Are you excited? I just literally I haven't slept. Really? <laughs> since the news came out, I've just been tossing <laughs> and turning. Lost your voice in the bed. Yeah, yeah. I just be, I was shrieking. He can't do it in this country, can he? He can't Why? have it because in certain <clears throat> in certain counties in Britain, it's still a capital offence. To tie a prince to a lamppost. <laughs> yeah. I think in Hereford you can Hereford. be Hereford you can be executed. Yeah. Wow. Really? If you tie a prince to a lamppost. So you can't <gasps> do it here. Wow. But I think it's a fraud. <laughs> I'm gonna get my voice box done like this. I won't have to write any jokes. I'm sure there's somebody you can go and see in Harley Street and they'll just make your voice like this all the time. You might have seen them already. I don't know what yeah. you've been doing the last yeah. few weeks. Can I have that voice? I tell you, <laughs> like you've it. had us in stitches. It's <laughs> brilliant. Um, talking of moaning to the weather, uh, to moaning about the weather, Alex, our lovely weatherman, Alex, he always gets moaned at. Do you think you could introduce him now um, in your ludicrous voice and see if you could add a bit of comedy to the weather? Camera there yeah. we go. Well, have a look I'd, over there. It's no effort for me. <laughs> OK. So what do you want me to say? Alex, Alex is on the roof with a look at the weather. <laughs>